Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and today we got a Disney Lego minifigure, a little show off I suppose. I got a few minifigs and I'm going to show them. Basically this is re-upload because uh, the first one didn't have any sound for some strange reason, even though I had made uh, sort of sound, but anyway, there we go again. So this is the minifigures a bag by Disney Lego, uh, I think it's like serious something or other, it's like 18 collect or something. There's like limited editions. So I, I I don't all about limited edition sort of things, but I thought the minifigures would be quite nice to collect or just pick a couple up. Um, it comes in like blind bags and they're about two pound ninety nine each. It's not too bad price. You get something out of them. Basically, you can just fondle them really the bags really, and you can sort of figure out which ones you got. So like Steamboat Mickey Final Wheel, Elsa's got the uh, snowflake. Uh, Heracles has got a shield, you know, that sort of, you can try and work out a little bit by there. Uh, Mini might be a little bit tricky. Uh, Chip and Dale got the bag for one, and, you know, you can work it that way, so. But for £3, like, you know, not too bad, nice little bit of figures, well done, and nicely sculptured and all that, and uh, you can't see through the bag, so don't try it, I tried it, and, you know, I know I got kicked out of the shop for, you know, just trying to look through a bit. But anyway, here comes the first minifigure, I think. Anyway, in three, two, one, and the first one today we have... Oh, no, it's the it's the book. It's the, never mind, it's the book. Uh, the book basically here is... Well, not really a book, but it shows you all the minifigures that come with. You've got Dewey and Louie and Scrooge, Mickey and Minnie, Chip and Dale, Elsa and Anna, Jafar, um, Jasmine, Hercules, a uh, couple of scary bone people, you got that lady from Incredibles, and Frozone. I think there's some kind of graphic here, I can't remember what that's for, but you know, never mind. Um, Frozone doesn't seem too happy, he's got this like, little thing next to his head, a little box, must have got hit in the head at some point, so. And on the back here just basically shows you uh, how to put it all together. Nice and simple really, nothing too, too difficult. Um, I'll check that one side, and let's get the first minifigure, woo! First one is Chip and or Dale! I think that's Chip, personally I can't remember, so please tell me in the comments if I'm right or wrong, I don't know which it is. I've just gone bored, okay, people. So I just bought it, alright? I didn't know what it was. It's a blind bag. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, he's got a nice bright red nose. I like that. And he's got his nuts in his bag. Um, basically because he probably couldn't store him on his body. Which is a bit of an odd one. But anyway, I got this pen. And I put it next to him. Just so you can see the size comparison. You know, it's a black boy or a pen. And that uh, is a little mini figure. If I just need a Lego, if I Lego. Um, it comes in a nice little stripe on his back. I must be a bit of a coward, I'm not sure. Um, it comes on a nice little base, actually, which you all, they all do, actually. And it sits quite nice, nice on there, you know, it did quite well. Um, stuck on there, don't come off, so until we pull them off. But his head pops off nicely, so if you want a dead Chipperdale, um, you're more than welcome. Good Halloween trick, I suppose, you know, go around. But the point of the show was uh, he's nicely molded, and, you know, it's a really nice colour, you know. The bag's a nice shape on there, he fits in his hand, you know, quite well. Um, it's, you know, nice sort of detail on his face. Uh, it's well sculpted, well moulded. The smile's good, it all feels proper done, so you're not getting cheated out of your, of your money. So, check the back there, it's getting Jafar! Again, another one that's really nicely done. I like Jafar, and here's a sort of bit of size difference for you to uh, have a little mind over. So, what, they're both £3. And it's up to you to depend where decide whether it's worthy or not a three pound. But um, I decided to keep on the red on the outside, just basically because it matches his jacket and his, you know, back of his hat. I thought going black on black, it may not work, so why not be able to see it? And it ruined it slightly. But it's like nicely sculpted anyway. It's got his uh, staff on there to take off. I'll show you in a second. But articula articulation is good. The hat's really pretty. I like the way they've molded the hat. It's quite well done. Nice bit of detail on there. It's very solid as well. Nothing um, too simple, too fle flexible or anything. So it sits head nicely. Nice fit. Doesn't pop off too easily. Um, yeah, showing a way to match the colours together. Um, got a skirt on the bottom there. Um, a little bit wide. It sit fits on there quite nicely. I don't know. I find it strange to got a skirt on there, but his face is one type. You don't get nothing different. But I tried to zoom in and show you his face, but the camera didn't want to know. I'm not sure why. I'm not an expert on cameras. Um, back to the skirt again. Yeah, it sort of sits on the bottom there, it's a bit strange, but eh, it's what it is what it is. And yeah, staff is quite nicely detailed as well, nice cobra sort of staff. Shows him off quite nicely. Oh, bit of blur on the bottom there. Don't see, don't see. It's next up. Anyway, staff got a nice cobra head on there, nice bit of detail, well crafted, well moulded. I really like it, it's nice. 
solid bit of plastic, but yeah, it will break if you bend it too much. And please don't bend too much because you break the whole thing and it won't look very good. But yeah, he sits on his base there quite nicely, so like they all do. Uh, got one hole, although the uh, Lego plugs sit either side of the hole, so it fits in tightly. So don't worry about him falling off anytime soon. But yeah, he's basically sat on my shelf now, collecting some dust. Way all good things that come who spend money on things that don't need. I didn't need it, but you know, I just felt like I needed it. But uh, I didn't know I got Jafar until I opened the bag. It's quite hard to fondle it. Uh, in the back, you can't really tell what what you're getting because you can't quite see the whole mold. So there we go. So next one up is uh, Mr. Frozone here. No, it's not Frozone. Um, hmm, Zeus? No. Archimedes? Nope. I, I actually don't know his name, so if you know his name, please tell me. But uh, I'm going to call him Blue Boy, because he's yellow, okay? Um, no, nice little sculpted, actually. You see his uh, tentacles there, or the water, or whatever he is on the bottom half. So it swoops up nicely. That's a very strong sort of mold plastic. Um, his hair is really nice, beautiful blue actually. I really like the colour of that. That is really well done. Uh, it doesn't come off his head, but his, his face, right? Does that look like a man who's drunk or high on something? Because to me, that looks like he sparked out a little bit. Well, you know, he sparked out on something he shouldn't have done. Maybe he got drunk with all the flames. I'm not sure that he had power. Maybe that. Uh, but no, he sort of. It's really nice. Articulation good in the arms. It doesn't bend, obviously, because it's capes in a way, but. On the back there, he's got a nice little bit of design, some little swirls there. Can't really tell until you get too close, which I think is a bit of a shame, really. I think it needs a bit more prominent, a bit more standout. Um, also, his top half of the body doesn't fit perfectly to the bottom half. It's almost like he used to have legs or something, or they mold them in that sort of way they do. It doesn't quite fit, and the lines don't match up. There, his little flame looks pretty good. Flat bit of plastic from probably some fire department somewhere. He just probably nicked off them and thought, you yeah, know, I'll keep it for myself. Fits in his hand quite nicely, which makes me think it's from another set, really. But there you go, what can you do about it? So you bend up and down if you want, you have a flat, you know, vertical, horizontal, yeah, flat's horizontal now, so. Uh, very nice, actually. I do quite like whoever he is, just a blue boy. Yeah, no matter how high he is, he looks good. But yeah, well sculpted, well molded. Nice bit of strong plastic. What more do you want? Let's put them back there right away. Out of view. Scare me. Next up, we have. Some point today. Oh, the DVD, that's it. So we all seen DuckTales, haven't we? If we haven't, I think we should all watch DuckTales. They're really quite nice. So, this is. I'm only showing this because I got Eerie, Dewey, or Louie, the green one. And I watched this, and I absolutely loved DuckTales when I was younger. Like, three. Two, three, you know, maybe four. I've watched the DuckTales over and over and over again. My parents get so sick and tired of rewinding that damn video. They tend to, they, they, I think they said to me, the, uh, the VHS player broke some up. But anyway, on to the actual molded figure. Uh, this one's really quite nice as well. You know, again, it's really well put together, really well thought about, and it's very simple. It's simple, but very effective. Now, to me, he looks a bit out of proportion, I'm not sure why, but I'll tell you in a second. Uh, on the back there, he has some feathers there. Um, it's a separate mould to the rest of him. And it's a really soft bit of plastic, it's not hard plastic at all. And it stops him from uh, the articulation, it doesn't uh, allow him to bend very well. So, please don't give to your kids, it really would harm them. So, I think it's an adult only toy. Coming from an adult, of course, you know, we, all, we know what we're all about. Well, I'm not a parent, so don't question me. But no, it fit, all fits together quite nicely. Pops on there. And then, yeah, he looks better better shaping up. His legs look a bit short for his body. Um, his upper half looks a bit longer, taller than his legs does, so that's strange. I, I don't know. I know it was meant to be a small duck, but. Anyway, his hat's really nice and simple. It fits on there. I like it. He's got a little bit of tuft of hair there. That's very quite good. But he looks very strange bold. So, we're put his hat back on. I think his head might be getting cold or something. There it goes. Of course, he popped on the face. A little bit easy, because, you know individual legs or whatever but yeah he doesn't bend like I've shown you now and but no it's a really nice colour I like the colour the yellow feet the yellow bill that's really nicely moulded uh, the green shirt the green hat all goes nicely together and the white the feathers that's nice I do like him I do like him I did some oh I lost his um his torch so it went down my sleeve somehow I don't know how it got there I just must have pinged off somehow um 
Yeah, I, I believe it's a torch anyway, because I like, want to go on adventures and something, and they take his torch along. I only assume that because it's a grey handle and a yellow sort of block at the end it makes me think there's a light, so I don't want to go with a candle at all, so yeah, I, I, I go with a uh, torch. Um, very simple, must have been from another set before. I can't imagine it made just for this minifigure. Uh, I'm not sure where it came from, so don't at me. Um, I'm pretty poor of guessing, and I don't own much Lego, so, you know, I used to when I was a kid, but not anymore. I'm a bit more of an adult these days. I mean, collect the minifigures instead. But no, you, yeah, he's nice and done, so let's chuck him to one side. Next up, next up is. I gotta wait for myself here. I would edit this out, but it's a bit awkward. Anyway, I'm going to just move around to minifigures. There we go. I'm putting Jafar here to do, uh, I said, to measure up, I think it was. So, you see him here, and here is Steamboat Mini. Now, again, like, they're £3 each. And Mini seems a hell of a lot bigger and chunkier, especially to hold and to visualise, than any other character. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure where the thought was in this, but it... it it makes me value, question the value of things. But don't get me wrong on it, she's very pretty, she's very nicely moulded, nice chunky sort of plastic, very nicely put together, and I do like it. Uh, the base comes off as always, but she's got good articulation, and you see up her skirt, which I should have blurred really being a model or something to be female, but um, I'm not going to because it's not, you know, it's, it's just cartoon character, it's moulded plastic, what do we care? Um, the hat's really nice, little but, um, flower on top there. I like her skirt because it's nice and wavy around her, fits her well, and nice spots on all over it. Doesn't interrupt too much, but shame she's not got a top on. I really think she should have had a top on, but it's a mouse a cartoon character again. It's, you know. Um, I think this is, I don't know, this, this thing is tall. It's like a life preserver or something, so you, you get saved with, or it might be a flotation device when she goes swimming, I think. I don't know. Please tell me in the comments, I haven't got a clue what it is. It's something, it's, it fits on her hand, barely, it barely holds on, it is, I don't understand what it is or why it's there for, but, um, yeah, but no, she looks very pretty, got eyelashes on there, the eyes look really good, the ears are nicely done, like, nice bit moulded, all like one piece of it seems and feels, I don't like there's too many pieces on the face, but, the smile on there is quite nice, done, the nose is really good, the paint job, the paint job is fantastic, so, Put her over there. I don't know what I zoomed in for there, but it was something, and I can't remember the joke. So move on to the next one, which is Mickey Steamboat Mickey. Now this one's going to be painting ass. This one again, of course, of course, get one of the painting ass. But I really do like Mickey. Anyway, it's based on how he looks at the moment. It all again, really strong sort of plastic, nicely molded. The steering wheel I think came from another set. I'm not sure why you would use someone else's steering wheel but never mind um, but I like how he looks and he's got two circles in his, next to his thighs um, and must be his pockets or something hat's very really simple um, I wish they put some bit more detail on the hat like this logo or something but a sticker or something on top there but I uh, don't know but again the, his nose and his smile and his yeah, mouth is all well put together uh, no detail on the back which is kind of a shame really he's kind of missing that when Minnie had her skirt but uh, Jafar had his cape. Uh, articulation is good, so I'm quite happy with that. But no, uh, overall over looks good. Bends quite well. You know, it goes backwards and goes. But can you do this? Yeah, he goes forwards. <laughs> Sorry, I had that before. I'm trying to, you know, watch myself on that one. Um, but in steering wheel, right? Steering wheels from no so you can tell because that plug on the back, it obviously fits in somewhere else, which is bigger than. I'm not sure what model, it must have been a ship or something, it was a big steamboat or something. It doesn't fit with him, it doesn't, it sits in his hand, but you got to make it, so it's, the plug sits to the side of him, otherwise it won't work at all, which is damn right stupid, I absolutely hate it. They should not bother to think, or made something for him that fitted. But, again, when he's on the, when he's face to you, you can't really tell, but that looks weird, doesn't it? It just looks wrong, I don't know why, but... Most feel like, yeah, face on looks fine, side angle, there, it not too bad, but some don't look too difficult, I suppose you can, you can overlook it, I could. Um, this here's got a nice little curve in there as well, so, uh, very nice stuff, very nice, so nice, I do like it, honestly, you know, it's worth the £3, for sure. 
So now I'm just trying to get camera in focus and let's move more back in here. So Mini hopped in. Don't know why I hopped Mini in for, but uh, Chip and Ordeo, uh, Mr. Blue Boy and Louie, Louie, Dewey, Dewey, Dewey. Um, no, that's the ones I got so far. Yeah, three pound each in a blind bag. You can get them from most stores. I got these ones from Centre Parts um, in Longleat when I went in in September. So I know it's really a few years, long time ago, but I just think. Uh, it was my birthday at the time, so I was like, oh, I'll pick a few up. Why not? Might as well. I have, you know, might as well enjoy myself. They all look pretty good, so I'm impressed. I am impressed with them. That is definitely worth it. So, to get the rest of them, you're probably thinking of £100 if you get them like this. But, hey, that's the joy of having stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye bye.